Tonight we're doing a project farm style video. Instead of making four videos, I'm gonna take them all apart in one. And these are super budget friendly 300 amp hour batteries. Usually this capacity costs 500 or $600, even a watt cycle. But these are under $400, almost 300. So that's almost $1 per amp hour. But are they any good? Usually the budget ones are garbage. But we've got an eco-worthy right here. And the dumb fume 100 amp hour is pretty good. Now technically these are not the same capacity. We've got a 300 amp hour, a 280, a 330, and a 300. But the capacity tests tell us something different. And here are the results. If we take the advertised capacity and we divide it by the tested capacity, this is what we get. And with those results, we get the cost per amp hour. So I need to stop the video. I'm editing this and I found out the price of this thing is over $500, which does not make it a budget battery at all. And they changed the price in like the last week. So yeah, we need to remove this one. So now it's down to these three and here's the cost per amp hour. Isn't that price just crazy? These are under $1 per amp hour. That is wild. Now the next thing I tested was the overcurrent protection and usually budget batteries do not have this feature. But all of these batteries had that feature but they tripped at different current values. These two batteries tripped at 200 amps but this one tripped at 600 amps, which makes it pretty dangerous. You do not want that. Usually if it trips that high, it doesn't have overcurrent protection and it has over temperature protection and the BMS was being tripped. Now, even though it works on these batteries, you shouldn't trust it. You should always put a fuse on every battery. So this is the only one that did not pass the capacity test and it doesn't have overcurrent protection. So really it's down to these two, but let's open up this one first because it might have some fun surprises inside. Actually, it's not that bad. And it has a temp sensor, so let's actually see if it works. So now we're charging, now it's in the ice, and it works, that was great. Too bad it doesn't pull full capacity, this isn't that bad for the money. I've seen much worse than this for the price. Anyways, moving on. It's literally the same. <laughs> Would you look at that? These are exactly the same. Almost everything, even the zip tie placement is the same. There is literally no difference. Even the number on the BMS is identical. And the cells state 1,004 watt hours. Let's see if the cells are the same. This one says 1,004.8, but these are different. This is 976 watt hour cells. But guess what? The marketing says 300 amp hours on both of them. How tricky is that? So divided by 3.2, these are 314 amp hour cells, which is why they pulled so high. And these are 305 amp hour cells, totally different. How do you know what you're getting when you buy these batteries? You know what, you could order one of these and I bet sometimes you get these cells. How do you know? You know what's funny is that we got different capacity test results, but the overcurrent protection was tripped at the same current value because they have the same BMS. I mean everything is the same. The bus bars, how they connect them, the glue, the zip tie arrangement, everything. Tweedledee pass, let's do Tweedledum. And it works. These are actually pretty good, the dump fumes. A lot of people like these right now. And they're not using globs of solder on the BMS board. They actually have screw terminals and they crimp it. Is this steel? Oh, this is steel. These are steel plates on both sides of the cells. And then they have rubber insulative material between the cells. It's actually a pretty good design for a budget battery. Better than a big old tape and glue job. Also, the temperature sensor was actually attached to the cell. We've opened up more expensive batteries and it wasn't attached to it. So what a fun video. One was overpriced. One didn't pull full capacity, and these are twins. I wonder how many other battery companies have this same battery and sell it with a different name. And this name, Dumb Fume, is wild. Like, where did they come up with that? Now, this one did not have overcurrent protection, so these are the first budget 300 amp hours that pulled full capacity and have overcurrent protection. So pretty dang good. But who knows what you're getting inside. I hope you liked the video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.